Hello and welcome to wristbandsigns.com powered by Own the Zone Sports. In this short video, we're going to quickly walk through the, your initial setup of your signs. Right after you've gotten that email and we've welcomed you to uh, the system, you're going to click through that email and you're going to set up your system for the very first time through our setup wizard. So this is a way to get to the setup wizard after you've already gone through it initially. Um, but uh, just assume for the sake of this video that this is the first screen you're seeing. So it's going to have your details here. You're going to put in all of your information, uh, address, school, phone number, um, and uh, team name. This is how we can look up your account down the road. Go ahead and click next once you've got that information entered. On this screen, um, if, you've come, if you're coming from one of our older systems where it was desktop based, where you installed the program with the CD originally, um, if you've got some old signals saved, you can actually import them. Uh, we actually recommend that you don't do this um, just for the sake of learning how to use this program fully. We recommend you go through this setup wizard, but if you have settings that you want to import, you can go ahead and do that here, uh, settings and signals by following these instructions and then clicking one of those two buttons. Uh, if not, and you want to go through the wizard, go ahead and click next. Then you're going to get into actually creating and uh, customizing your plays. So this first screen you're going to see is customizing your pitches. This is not selecting the plays you want for your wristbands, like uh, in terms of setting up your signs for the very first time. All of this is, is saying in the future when I go to set up my pitching and defensive signs, uh, these are the plays I want to be able to pick from. Um, so this is essentially setting up your default plays. If for some reason uh, a play or a pitch is not listed that you would like here on this pitches select screen, uh, you can go ahead and click the add a custom sign button up here in the top right hand corner, or you can edit one of the existing ones. You can change the heading, you can change how it's listed on the player card, you can change the name. Um, so you can do all that there. But let's assume for the sake of uh, this tutorial that everything we've given you as a default is okay in terms of what you want to be able to select from going forward. Go ahead and click Next. You're going to go through this same, um, uh, this same process with uh, the non-pitch plays for defense. So your pitch outs, your pick plays, your... Uh, bunt defenses, for example, in baseball, your 31 move, long hold, etc. Uh, you can edit any of those plays uh, or you can create a new one just as you would on the previous screen. Next screen, same thing, offense. Um, you're going to go through and you're going to select which plays you want to be able to pick from when you start creating your signs. Obviously, you're going to need a nothing sign, bunt, steal, hit and run, etc., etc. You can go ahead and edit those or create a new one. From there, go ahead and click Next. On the next screen, this is a, a very important screen. This is creating what we call a zone group. Uh, a zone group is for pitch location. So for example, you can see that I've set one up here. It's called four zones. And the number of zones in that zone group is four. What that four represents is how many locations you want your pitchers to be able to pitch to. For example, I want to be able to throw all of my pitches to um, one of four locations. So I went ahead and I set up a zone group that had four pitching locations in it. For example, up and in, down and in, down and away, up and away. Um, that would be an example of a zone group that had four locations in it. So I'm not going to go through that in, that in this video. There is a separate video where we walk through how to create a zone group, zone group specifically. Uh, so please uh, refer back to our YouTube page uh, or our Frequently Asked Questions page for how to do that. Once you've got that zone group set up, go ahead and click Next. Uh, and then you're getting into a final couple pages here, which is setting up some of your just general print settings. Um, you know, do you want to create your signs using a PDF? Your other option there is Excel. We recommend PDF. But if you're somebody who likes to go in and manipulate the signs a little bit more after how we have them defaulted to be set up, you want to click Excel. Um, how many signs would you like on each player card? Uh, this is also very important if you've got our large wristbands. Uh, 216 is the recommended size. If you've got our small wristbands, which uh, most of our softball, younger baseball teams um, utilize, you'll want to go ahead and select 150 and 180 is kind of in the middle there. 
Um, you can go ahead and put your team name in here. That'll show up on the cards. Um, and then some additional settings on your coach's cards. Um, would you like to see color on those if you added color in, in one of the previous settings? Um, and then would you like to separate out um, plays that don't have a zone to a separate part of the card so they're easier to find on the coach's card? Um, so we recommend you keep all of these defaults as they are, but we do give you the ability to go and change those. Once you've got those how you like, go ahead and click next. And then the final uh, option here is advanced settings. Again, we recommend not changing these settings, but uh, some of these is how do you want them to be displayed? How do you want to read the, the player cards? Um, you know, typically you go uh, first two numbers are horizontal across the top, third number is vertical going down. You can actually change that. And then um, we, we classify each player card um, and, and correlate it to a coach's card based on a number, which is down here. So um, when, you're, when you're looking at that number in terms of making sure that the player card matches the coach's card, you can actually adjust that as well. Once you're all done with that, you'll go ahead and click Finish Setup. And your initial setup going through the Setup Wizard is complete. At this point, then you would be able to go in and you would be able to create your first set of defense and pitching cards or your first set of offensive player cards and uh, corresponding coaches sheets because you would have all of the background settings set up the way that you would need. And uh, you're off and running and good to go. As always, if you have additional questions, please visit our Frequently Asked Questions page. Email us at customer support at ownthezonesports.com. Uh, or info at wristbandsigns.com, or you can always give us a call at 972-514-OTZS. We thank you so much for all of your support. We've been doing this for over a decade. We have 500-plus colleges using our program with 20-plus NCAA um, programs that have won championships using our system. So um, you're in good hands. Uh, if you've got recommendations for us, please let us know. But thank you again for all of your support, and best of luck this season.